What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Aries, and I'm here with my girl, Candy, for our first ever 90s movie night. Okay, a throwback indeed. And this is a classic horror comedy, in my opinion, because, Lord, I used to be scared of this movie when I was growing up. Candy, how about you? How did this movie make you feel as a, as a young kid watching it? Yes, it was um very intimidating, very scary as a child. A lot of things went over my head and a lot of things were caught most oh, most recently we caught a lot of things. Um yes. but yeah, it was a very scary movie to say the least. I'm telling you because yeah, every time I seen a little red Nissan, uh, the PTSD was triggered. I I'll be scared, like, Mama, don't stop at the light. Like, keep going. Keep it moving. Keep going. Keep it moving. Uh -uh. Yeah. <laughs> I was he made me it made me scared of alleys and being in yeah. places that were where there were not people because you could either find an unalive body or you could be unalive. So I did Ooh. not like alleys then, and I don't like alleys and back ways now. Sorry. Right. Not it's it. so sketchy. Oh, mm -mm. my God. I didn't mm -mm. think about that. And I'm the from the country. Oh, right. <laughs> no. Mm -mm. <laughs> Why? I'm from what the, the country. What the alleys like in the country? They never. <laughs> we don't have any. So I'm from, we don't have any in the country like that. You know, so in the city you, part, you, yes. But where I grew up. I wasn't around no alleys and stuff like that. So when I when I did come upon one, I walked briskly past it. Oh, right. You was making your way down. <laughs> even now, even now, even now. If I walk downtown, if there's a break between a building, I'm getting on through. <laughs> I'm, getting I'm on not through, doing it. Right. Getting on <laughs> through. Mm -mm. Stepping. Stepping high, stepping fast, stepping wide. <laughs> Mm -mm. Uh, okay let's mm -mm. shout out the people in the chat and we're gonna get started y'all what's up demarcus vaughn yo what's up thank you for coming through. yeah he said he got five on it y'all all right what's up to my girl Derry b in the building everybody wishing everybody a happy 420 i'm here for it what's up to my guy ty t money boy how you doing what's my going girl on? candle what's in the on? building Hey, what's up, Kendall, bink, bink, bink. you ready for this one? <laughs> Moochie in the building showing love. What's up, girl? Ew. Hey, Moochie. Ew. <laughs> Look, Put us in the algorithm, y'all, okay? <laughs> you already know, right? Put us in that uh. album. <laughs> okay. Okay, so y'all, let's get started with this uh like i said a 90s movie a horror classic and um as an adult watching this with a fresh adult pair of eyes it's just like so much that was going over my head at the time like candy was saying but it was like it made me appreciate this movie a lot more because it did have them message moments and i was like okay yeah this is definitely like a message right here for for real for real so yeah it wasn't even as bad as i i yeah. felt like it was you know so um mm -hmm. let's see what's up ot 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 what it do happy 420 ot so this first scene hey. right here, this is just them trying to make their way home from school or going to school. And it's like, dang, y'all got to be walking through mm -hmm. uh, unalive bodies and, and, and brain matter. Y'all walking through crime scenes. Period. What kind Basically, of mess is this yeah. to start your day? Yeah. Like, look. That's like, nerve wracking. That That's color. terrifying. That's terrifying. It just is. Yeah, and that's brain matter all on the wall. Yeah. What's up, Momo? That's and Candy, brain. what I noticed in this one, hey, like you were saying, you were calling out the teacher. Um, in the classroom, as Trey, I didn't get no picture of it, but as Trey was walking up to present to the class to give his lecture, 
the the drawings on the wall was all like violence like it was kids drawing coffins and dead bodies kids was drawing what they were seeing like on a regular basis i was just like dang that's so crazy because i mean i grew up on yeah. that french part of compton so it was violence but we wasn't sit traumatized to the point where we was drawing on it you know and really reflecting on it at school i mean at least not me so but yeah this is crazy so Trey gets up here to present to the class. And what did y'all think of Candy? What you thought about this teacher? Please go in on this lady. Well, right now in this moment, um, as she I think she asked Trey to, I guess, tell teach the class. And he teaches the real lesson um about how we came over here and that, you know, about Africa and whatnot. And then, of course, it sparks a um, a debate or argument between him and a classmate, which, you know, of course, now that they get to fight. I mean, them boys was saying some cuss words, not curse words, cuss words. They was, they was dropping the F bomb, the, the MF bombs. Listen, I mean, they was cussing like two grown men. Like they had W2s, child, in 10, 1040s or whatever it's called. <laughs> Not like they had W clues, right? Man, they, they, they like they had plans and everything. They just cursing the old people. Yeah, but I mean, to me, is I don't think he was challenged enough. So mm -mm. you know, right? He was bored. He gonna be that kid he, that, he that talks different and knows more. So right, right, right. Yeah, because he had what Styles Furious, Furious. <laughs> Yo, as a father and uh Angela Bass's camera. Ah, what's up, the suburban John? <laughs> Candy want to call this man yeah. Styles P so bad, y'all. I suburbia? swear. Okay, look. Ty T. Yeah, I don't know why I want to call him Styles P. That's what's is up. That is that Ty? So, yeah, is that Ty? Is that Ty T? He changed his name or something? Has he changed his name, Ty? Tati money. Ty, you change your name. Please let us know. Because you know, so yeah, Trey got into we get confused it with, about all these different name changes. Trey got into it with the little guy or whatever, called him an African booty scratcher. Was that a legit um like was that fighting words when you was a little kid? Because I was fighting words in my neighborhood. You call somebody an African booty scratcher, you about to you about to get jumped. <laughs> uh, African booty not, scratcher. Not area. Why that was no, no, not, not for, no. You, you talk about my mama or something like that, then yeah. Now, if you had to say my mama, booty scratcher, then yeah. <laughs> Ooh, oh, my God. You know, you back in the day, that mama food. thing held weight. Right, mama, that was just mama. a reason to, yeah. <laughs> You're right, Candy, because if somebody said anything about your mama, that was an excuse to, to put your hands on somebody. That was an excuse to try to fight. Ooh, okay. Lord. Look, this boy yes. got to walk through the mess going home. Feet. Like, dang, like this was... Yeah, okay, yeah. so I can honestly relate to this, y'all, because I would be going to school. It was me and my cousin a little boy he was a year older than me and we would be going to school together like hearing um well one one moment in particular we was on our way to school and it was a drive by we seen a car drive by us and they just like put their finger out the out the window like and just mimic or made the sound bah! Like they did that. And then when they got around the corner, they start shooting. They start doing a drive by on the other corner. So we ran back home. And I don't know why did my mama make me go to school that day? Like, why would you still make me go to school? I thought I was out of, like, no. I thought that was enough to not have to go. So anyway, she took us back to school. She gave us a ride instead. And why was my teacher acting just like this teacher in the movie like she did not have no care in the or compassion for what we was telling her like it was a drive-by like we had to run back to the house they had to get a ride and uh like yeah we late only by like a couple minutes and she was like no you should have just got up early stop being lazy like dude we was in the combination class i think we was like in the second and third grade and this lady talking to us like that wow like, oh my god 
Okay. Well, no, I have never had to deal with this particularly because, like I said, I'm from the country, so we just caught the bus too directly to the school. But one time I did miss the bus, and my sister made she took me to a certain point before the school and made me walk to school. Oh. But it, but it still wasn't at in like in the neighborhood. It was like around um like on the way to school. It was like maybe like a mile from the school or either not even a mile. So that's the only time yeah. I had to walk. But um. No, I, I no. Nah. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I would have done had I seen this right here going on. I probably would have. I probably would have turned around before I got to him good, because I don't know if they was gonna try to get me to. But Trey, <laughs> oh, Trey used to. Right. He walked right on through. Right, he used to it. That's his habitat. He like, man. Yeah. Let me get off the curb. Like they didn't care nothing about no little boy coming. Like they didn't say, hey man, hold up. Let me move the dice game over to the street right quick. Hold up, right. make way for little man. He going to school. They ain't trying to do none of that. They just right. nah, they ain't care. These dudes in this movie, these jiggers did not care about no kids or no women. Like, we gonna see, but okay. So at this point, y'all, mm -mm. Trey gets home and his mama is telling him he she going off on the teacher, right? Candy, this is what we was talking about, how the teacher was talking to the mom. Like that's what was really blowing my mind. Yeah, yeah. I want to like that teacher. I want to pull her through the phone because first of all, you're not finna question me if I have a job or not. What does that have to do with my child? What does it have to do with his behavior in class today or any other time? That has nothing to do right. with me being unemployed or employed. That has nothing to do with it. So that's a wrong question right there. Then you're gonna say, "Oh, you're educated. Oh, you're educated." But what, lady? Right. I will pluck your toenails and pour alcohol right. and and salt on them. Don't play with me. Oh my God, that sounds terrible. <laughs> she oh, was so that, disrespectful. Lady. She was. Yeah, she need to be tortured. And I tell you, he he's, I'm gonna take him, send him to his father. Oh, he has a father. Go ahead. Oh, Avery. he has a father. Light her up. Light her up, right. Oh, y'all, we got some trivia, too. We got some trivia. Okay, so I didn't forgot candy. Let me go. Let's ask. Okay, so this is a question, y'all. No. <laughs> Who was the president on the poster back when the boys, um, when Trey and his little uh, crew were walking to school? Who was the president on the poster at the time? And what did it say? anybody okay and y'all can come back to these at any yeah. time okay because i'm gonna keep it up until somebody gets it right okay and yeah so Kendall now we got, got they had some and what did it say kendall mommy yeah what did it say kendall yeah momo okay y'all know this <laughs> You would think, because that was his little program, huh? That was his campaign. Mm-hmm. Y'all, it said four more years. He was trying to get reelected in this thing. Mm -hmm. Right. Four more years. <laughs> okay. Now they had a lot of moments in the car. Yeah, I love this Angela's first movie, man. Right? <clears throat> oh yeah, I know. I want that was a good question too. If um, this was Angela's first movie, but they had a lot of moments in the car, like on this car ride over to to this daddy's house. Like she was just giving him that talk, like, "Come on, Trey, get it together," because. Like his place, his environment ain't really no better than the environment that she's providing. It's just that he will be over there with his dad, I guess, on a more full time basis because it seems yeah. like the mom just don't have the time because she's studying, you know, at the time. And uh, yeah, that's another trivia question, y'all. We got to know. Mm -hmm. And it's okay was that he um, with his mom, with his dad, go with his dad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's okay that they go with no, it. <laughs> no problem at all. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Moochie, yes. When the lady drove up on that curb, <laughs> I was like, well, why the 
don't have to like. Did she do that on purpose? Was that a was that like you know scripted or was that just one of them off the cuff type of things? Because I'm like, why y'all making it like women can't drive like that? Damn. Oh, all okay. Because you know they say we can't drive, so <laughs> thank you, Angela. <laughs> what was her name? Yeah. Brenda. What was her name? Reba. No, Brenda was Reva. Reva. Brenda yeah. was dope boy and their mama. Yes, yeah, Kendall. Okay. She was working on her masters. Yes. Kendall, this show I'm surprised the Marcus didn't know it. The Marcus must not right. be in here because he I figured he would know that. That's what I said. The <laughs> Marcus, where you at? Because we thought you was gonna be on top of that one. Okay, so yeah, y'all. So we get there, we get over to Furious's place, and um Trey is happy to see his little friends and things, and Furious takes the seat that Trey was sitting in, and now Reva got to give him the rundown. Look, you need to take care of my baby. He was like, this both are baby. I was like, come on, Furious, because he he's an active, good father figure. Like, if you could have a parent that just can be there, but not really, like, the best example that you need to be around, you know? But I'm glad that um you could just see yeah. that Trey has, like, parents that really do care about him and care about his just overall success like she's moving him to his father's mm -hmm. so that he can just be there more present than she could be at the time so i'm just loving that yeah and I, I like the, the way they co-parent they co-parent very well Mm-hmm. yeah then what you think about trey little friends what, why they had this <laughs> Wouldn't the Tyler Perry was on Lil Chris head? What? Why Lil Chris got a wig wig on? <laughs> Why did they need to do him like that? They yes, couldn't have gave him no quick wig with a few little tracks on it. Because if y'all wanted to make it look like he had a curl, like, why was that even necessary, first of all? <laughs> yeah, like, why? Why did it have to be so detailed? Like, it looked like plastic curls, like, now I, that's party city, right? It's giving party city, yeah. No, it was giving Dollar Tree. And Ooh, I know they have Dollar Tree back then, or did they? I don't know, but yeah. That was that. That's a thick, like them curls was thick. Thick plastic. Right. Not that's even. Ah, what's here. up, Torrick? Sterling Torric is small. Right, he had the, he had yes, the little Jerry Yes, Kendall, sporting a Jerry like curl, baby. His parents did not care. Okay. Now, I ain't going to hold you. I did have a Jerry Curl back in the day, too. Yeah. Candy, that thing was I probably, you Jerry probably Curl back in the day. It, you know, moisturized. Look at this boy here right now. He needed his little activator. Where your activator at, Chris? Little Chris. <laughs> Where the act at? Mm -mm. Man, listen. <laughs> he, look, he had a lot on it. Like, he didn't uh, put his head in it. That thing's shining, boy. That's why I say it look plastic. It don't look it don't look like hair. It's giving plastic. That's funny. It's, it's about to yeah, melt. From this picture is giving plastic. Because I can't remember seeing it in the movie. Yes, it's giving I will melt on a good 90 degree day. Like, yeah. Right. That baby couldn't rake them leaves. That thing was too hot up under there. It was too hot. He said five dollars. Mm. Nigga, I could do a whole. I could. <laughs> he turned the five dollars down like it was nothing going off on this. Like talking crazy to Mister Furious. Okay. You like five dollars? Like, man, that ain't right. Hey, wow, sir. Wow, little okay. boy, you just know. <laughs> so Trey had to end up raking Listen. up them leaves on his own. Five dollars, y'all. How on the first night? Mm -hmm. How on the first night, if I was Reva, yeah, it wasn't no way she was gonna find out about this because I'd be like, Boy, I'm coming to get my baby, I'm coming to get okay. my son because you got <laughs> diggers running in and not the building. <laughs> Man, oh lord, yes, yes, that's uh, and then there was some big old holes, boy. Them some baseball size holes. Great shucks. Yeah, he wasn't playing. So, y'all, this is our next trivia question. How long did Furious Styles wait on the cops to show up? 
kids. How long did they wait? How long did they have to wait? You know, nine one one is a joke. To your in they town. town, right? You know, <laughs> get, get down. <laughs> Look, mom would mom have to do her and get her son back after that. You already know it. Yes. Yes. Facts, Momo. She would have been like, uh-uh. I'm coming. Trey, I'm coming back over there. Because you know Angela got that. Yes. She sold this dramatic in a good way. <laughs> it's my own night. <laughs> oh, no, no. They damn near was. Oh, my God. Yeah. Kendall. <laughs> when Kendall said, How about that nasty behind tub? Ew, come on, furious, clean that ish. Seriously, Kendall, right? Listen. And then gonna tell Frank he got to clean it. He was looking like yeah. that's when you know that little boy was missing his mama. He said, well, Okay, dang, man, my mama was keeping the house clean. <laughs> he said, And what are you gonna be doing? <laughs> <laughs> Why I'm doing all this? What I'm you gonna, gonna do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Y'all, yeah. Ty T Money Boy said they wait for about 20 close. minutes, 30 minutes to an hour. Yeah, he said we waited for, for y'all about an hour. And then here come mm -hmm. Officer <clears throat> A Hole and B Dicks. They they clean on the scene, showing up, uh, talking crazy <laughs> with coffee in his hand. Showing like, up, sir. Crazy. I mean, you come to what you would assume is a crime scene. You thinking somebody, uh, uh, unalive body is on the ground with your coffee in hand. You know, normally y'all come out with, you know, guns are blazing. Okay. Seriously. a little bad. Come on. Mm -mm. He was a jerk. He was a jerk. Jerk oh, off. Man. He was a jerk off. He just was. And he was on the force for years, all throughout Trey's little uh growing up, all throughout his youth. Mm -hmm. So, y'all, this is one of my favorite characters. And it's solely because <laughs> the role was just so epic. Like, this lady played the hell out of this role. I felt like it was a good and accurate depiction yeah. of when the mother favors one child over the next. Like the love was always there for uh Ricky. Yeah. She she tell like she she speaks life into Ricky. She tell him like, "Oh, I always knew you was going to make me proud." Like, I don't know what didn't happen with Doughboy to where she just don't see it for him. What's up Tamika's Dan? Welcome in. Welcome in. Hey Tamika. Let me know what you thought Maybe about. Maybe she uh, didn't like the dad, his father. Mm -hmm. Maybe she didn't yeah. like the father. You know, you look like your daddy, or you ain't gonna or something she said, and and you ain't gonna beat nothing, you ain't gonna never beat nothing. I'm like, you beat that boy, uh um, whatever you want, you want to instill in the child. Know. She just snatched it all out, like she was just snatching it, you know. Um, and this lady wasn't she in poetry? Yeah, I, didn't, I, I mean, I liked the I liked her, but I, she, yeah, mm -hmm. she sure is. She always play a little stanking role, don't she? Like she play like a stanking little character that you just be want like, oh, ugh. Yeah, she stink. does. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, but this is one of my favorite scenes. She, when she cussed was him out. She, she beat him up verbally. Right. Yeah, yeah, I love the way she uh, was cursing him, him out. Not because he deserved it, but just because it was entertaining. Like, just to be a little kid watching yeah, this and yeah. being able to hear all them cuss words, like, consecutively, it was highly entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> it was highly entertaining. Yes, yes. She cussed, she cussed his ass out bad. I was like, shit. <laughs> He was like, Ooh. can I go yet? Sometimes she I used to want my mama. To, my mama didn't curse. I used to want my mama to curse. And she didn't curse. She used to fuss off for two hours, three hours, four hours in. I'm like, then I wish she would cuss me out. Because she'll be done with it. But my mama didn't curse. Yeah. She just talk. I'm like, shit. Still talking about it. Like, talking about y'all. You're uh, like, man, how am I in? Still, it? yeah. She. <laughs> Y'all gonna start doing yeah, these dishes. I, I know that. Would just cuss me out. Right. Okay. 
Look, Kendall, that's what I'm talking about. She gave authenticity to the character, huh? Yes, I I felt that character like, oh, my mm-hmm. God, this lady could be any one of my little friend's mamas because my mama would never talk to me like this, per se, but I definitely would be that Trey character overhearing somebody mama cussing them out through the screen door. Like, ugh. Yeah, she was in Poetic yeah. Justice and in White White Man Can't Jump. Oh, okay. I didn't remember her in White Man Can't Jump. And she I sure want to say she was. She was, uh, was, was she the wife? No. Oh, no. She was wasn't she? Wesley's wife, was she? Because he didn't have a wife, did he? I don't think he did. Look at the dairy talking about dying laughing. My mom was saying I can't remember. for three hours. <laughs> ah, dairy said her mom yeah, was doing man. the same thing. Like, <laughs> You like you still mad? They be all. Hey, that's why I'm like this now. Like, yeah, man. Like, I'm gonna still do it. My mom almost eighty. She still do it. Like, <laughs> okay, so she was his wife. Okay, 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 okay. I thought she was, but I wasn't sure. But yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my mama. She ruthless with that tongue, boy. Golly. You like so, okay? And she don't curse. That be the hard. That be the worst ones. The ones that don't curse. She just tell right. you like it is and just uh, they're gonna be carrying. Make you feel lower than the flow. <laughs> oh, right. Still going. And yeah, they're telling good. everybody on the phone, telling the whole family, oh, you walk past the room, all you hear is, yeah. So <laughs> I had to get on her real good today because she's just lazy. You know why I gotta keep asking you to do something every time. <laughs> Why you ain't doing it on your own? Okay, you're 13 years old. Get in there and wash your ass. Whatever. <laughs> That's the kind of stuff. <laughs> That's the kind of stuff parents be going in about. <laughs> well, well, I'm sure that my my baby gonna be like that with uh, cause that be me and I be talking to my sister or one of my friends. I'm like, God damn, Dallas. <laughs> Right. Look at my sister. <laughs> she gonna be like, dang, you in there talking about me again? Look at her. She said, This is my favorite part, y'all. This is why I had to get the caption on this. Because when he pacing the flow, he 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 talking about, man, can I leave yet? She like, and where you going anyway, you little fat fuck? You don't have a job. I said. I, this lady right here, man, that was just a, that's my favorite line in the whole movie. Anybody oh else God. got a favorite catchphrase? Drop it in the comments because this is my favorite one. <laughs> that's my favorite one, you little fat F. <laughs> <laughs> like, dang, why you say that to that little boy? <laughs> Derry, I hope you tickled by that because I am so tickled. Yes, that was too funny. Okay, yeah, y'all. She, next question. Yes, Monique, I agree. So, you know, mm-hmm. you want to know, uh, Trey, who's that out there? Oh, that's Furious's little boy. Oh, why he don't come <laughs> play cards with us no more? I guess he's too busy shooting at people. <laughs> I'm like, dang, man, this lady is hell. <laughs> like, thank you too good for us. <laughs> uh, right. No. Oh, he just don't want to fool up with y'all no more. That's all. He said mm-hmm. she might have had a chance, but she didn't talk too much. Okay. Oh, Kendall. Yes, yeah, she was giving Doughboy the sharpest side eye when they left off the, you know, when they left out the house to go on this little mission. She was side eyeing the hell out that boy. Like she told Ricky, okay, baby, or whatever, like something endearing, and was looking at Doughboy like, little bastard. Hope mm-hmm. you don't come back. She did not like that boy. I don't know what he did to her, what his daddy did, but she couldn't stand him. Right. She could not. Mm-hmm. And Ricky was the uh, the golden child. He, he was the golden child. That was her meal ticket. I feel like that's what she thought. Like, my baby going to go play mm-hmm. football. He going to get me out the hood, and we going to be all good. Ty T said yeah. his favorite uh, Sorry. phrase was, do we got Sorry. a problem? We got a problem here. 
And he pull up his shirt. Right. I said, do we have a problem? I can't help but think about uh don't be a menace. The okay. Whenever I say that, huh? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they did. And I, I didn't think about it until now that that's where that line came from. <laughs> right. So, y'all, what little Chris say he want to go show the boys? <laughs> what little Chris want to go show these kids? Yes, Cube played that. He did that, Derry. Derry said she loved Doughboy's character. Mm -hmm. Kendall said, He played um, it like it was him because he was him. Over there. Oh, look, Kendall's talking about when uh Brenda, Miss Miss uh Baker over there talking about your daddy still got that same girlfriend. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, girl, go away. Hey, Momo. What's up, Momo? We got both the Momos in the building. Right. Okay, y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all. Oh, what, yeah, put the you know, question back up there. Yeah, let's put the question back up there. Okay, look, Momo got it. Would the little Chris want to go show these little boys a dead body? A dead body. You want to see a and dead body? <laughs> his little voice, all of their little voices was so sweet. Like, so they how long was that dead body voices. there? How long was that dead body there for him to say, y'all want to see a dead body? It like, be days. like, do you go past this piece of art <laughs> every right. day? Like, or how many times have you walked past it and it's still there? It's still there. Mm -hmm. That was something that popped in my head. Like, right, because why is it still there? Hello, hello, somebody. Nobody looking for yeah. that guy. Okay, now this is our second question. At all. That goes into that. <laughs> when they get to the dead body, what did Doughboy say? Or I should say, who did Doughboy say got a hold of it? Okay. What horror legend? Did Doughboy say got a hold of the dead body? Yeah, it was in that Ooh, decomposition the stage body. where it was just got a hold of the dead body. Rising. Yeah. Ooh, Kendall, yeah. Own it. Let's go, Kendall. Go. Let's go. Yeah. Looks like Freddy Krueger got a hold of it. <laughs> <laughs> He was slicing dice. Oh my god, I felt so. I felt the tension in this scene, Candy. Were they just trying mm -hmm. to be kids? And here come the older guys, like coming to pick with them. Yeah. Ooh, I felt so bad because Ricky Doughboy told him, "Don't bring that ball, man." Yeah, yeah. Well, listen, how was you feeling in this scene, Candy? I felt like um, y'all too old to be effing with these little kids. Why y'all want to take they? Ball, why you want to take Ricky Ball? Why y'all bothering them? Y'all too old to be playing these little games with these kids. You're trying to be bullies. You are bullies. I didn't like it because it was like, I mean, they just little kids. Y'all clearly a good, maybe eight to ten years older than them. So why right. y'all bothering them? You know, Chris is the smallest wow. one. He looked like he don't even need to be out there nowhere near Ricky, big tall, gigantosaurus ass. So I don't even understand. Like, why y'all bother them? Y'all just want to be neighborhood bullies. <laughs> Ricky, that's why I said, <laughs> why did he say this boy was gonna play basketball? Because he's taller than all the other kids. Like he's way <laughs> he taller than yeah. his big brother. <laughs> well, what's up, the Lawrence Report? Oh, yes, this is oh. a throwback right here, huh? I said Ricky, uh, -uh. Yeah, so y'all, yeah. this is a fun. Yeah, you're right, Monique. This character here, Vontae Sweet, also plays in Minister Society. Y'all probably knew that. And his 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 auntie, Mrs. Sweet, she was my computer lab teacher, y'all, when I was in the fifth grade. And yeah, that's just a fun fact. She would always talk about her nephew that okay. was in movies and stuff. And um, I always thought that that was so interesting. That he was on here playing in like all the hood movies, okay, and his mom was really working. Yeah, this was my little computer lab. <laughs> Older kids at the time okay. did that though, and and it, they did right. Like they would really be trying to. Um, yeah, they did. Like, it would be like 
you can't be around the older kids or you know like that would be another thing that you had to worry about as a younger kid like damn i can't be around these older kids because they're gonna get to trying to mm -hmm. punk me and take my stuff or whatever yeah Mm -hmm. So annoying. Yeah. See, back in the day, my aunt, um, she armed us with some gold braces. I don't know where she got them braces from. Oh. But and they were wide and we would put them on my our fists and we would fight with them on the bus. Yeah. Not fight with them on the bus. <laughs> Cause I would be the younger kids. It'll be the yes. Yeah. Candy, these sound like brass on, on the bus. We tell hey can what was. They wasn't brass knuckles. They weren't brass knuckles. It was just a gold, mm -hmm. like a brass gold bracelet. And it was wide. And it was, mm -hmm. it had to be pure. And it was dented gold. I don't know where mm -hmm. she got them from, but she gave them to us. And, you know, mm -hmm. I kept it in my book bag. Look at my niece and my sister. <laughs> Look. She gave us some, um, <laughs> she gave us some, some braces and she, we would get on the bus and get the fight. <laughs> get yeah. the tussle in. <laughs> so y'all we see what happening right here when they because you know what happened what i forgot the reason why Doughboy got locked up is after he took the beat down for his brother and got the ball back this boy said i'm about to go to the store and um they was like you ain't got no money he was like i'm going anyway i said oh damn i guess that mean he about to steal Mm -hmm. He about to go in there stealing. Look, yeah, Moochie, by any means necessary. Moochie said he had a combination Damn, lock on the two strings. Ouch. Oh my God. <laughs> now that sounds like some Mary King ooh, now ooh. stuff. For real. <laughs> <Ooh>. Okay. <laughs> Dang, brass knuckles is illegal. Let me listen. I cheat me some brass knuckles. Look. <laughs> Look, I cheat me some brass knuckles. Oh, I'm, I'm terrible. <laughs> Look, Candy do not play, y'all. All I'm saying is don't try it. Don't run up. I am terrible. I'm terrible. I'm terrible. I'm sorry. Mm -mm, look, Candy got it on deck. Mm -hmm. this, is how you, this is for real. Look. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. So, you know what? Okay. So, Listen, in this scene, I, don't, Candy, I don't give nobody no, no, no yards. No yards, right. <laughs> None. Mm -mm. This scene right here, I'm like, okay, they going to jail or saying? they going to juvie. And um, another little kid was heard saying, like, no, they going to jail. I said, dang. So this is our next trivia question, y'all. Let me see <laughs> who who knows the time span. What is the time lapse from the time that we see? Doughboy going off because we don't know how many times he been to jail or prison because it seemed like he had been in and out. But from the time that they are young kids to teenagers, what was that time lapse, y'all? Put it down in the comments. Hey, Renee. Hey, Becca. Renee. Hey, Miss Renee. Thank you Thank for you coming for through. through. Mm hmm. Yes, Kendall, that little boy had the nerve to be crying. He had the nerve to be crying. I'll be crying too. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, Candy, honestly, right. I'll be crying too. I would be. <laughs> you be I just wanted a snack. I didn't even mean it like that. Right, I just wanted a little, a little Debbie cake and a little Sprite or something. I'll leave it wasn't that much. I right. Mean. Did we try I'm to rob the cashier? Cause even wanted a hot sausage um, and a pickle egg, they ain't want much. Right, they ain't too much. They ain't nothing worth going to jail <laughs> over, getting no time over. That, yeah, all right. Like can look, I Chris, look at he's so he got the deficiency. <laughs> right, put it on the credit. Come on, my and see, look, Chris got a deficiency. Money. See how little he is. Look how little he is. You know his growth is stunning. <laughs> Yeah, I need pickle eggs and pickle pig feed and hot sausage and stuff. You know, help me grow. <laughs> oh my God, not the pickle eggs. I was trying to steal pork, pork chops and steak. Right, he was just going in there to get a little quick little Child, snack. That was the best stuff. 
you talking about going Quick again? Story. Like you always pig? got a story. Yes. No, a pickle pig feet. Oh, and just walk around eating that? The pickle pig feet. Yeah, you ain't never ate a pickle pig feet? No, Candy, you put me on to something. I, I don't know if I'm going to be trying it, but yeah, let me know about let me know more about the pickle pig feet that you just snack on. Is that kind of like a turkey leg at Disneyland? Just walk around snacking on it. <laughs> no, this thing costs like two dollars, and it's in a jar. Like they have them at Sam's. They have them I, at I Sam's, like uh, like you know, like Sam's. Yeah, pig feet, pickle, pickle eggs, and they be pink. They are delicious. Well, they used to be. Yeah, Monique, they probably nasty now. I would eat. Okay, so it's a store that was like near my house because I live way in the country. It was like a 15, maybe 20 minute ride to a store from where I lived at as a child mm -hmm. where my parents still live. Mm -hmm. And maybe the store might have been like maybe six, five minutes away and look country store. And this little uh, store owner, uh, his hands always were dirty. His nails were always dirty. Like he'd be out there changing the oil, and I would let him give me my pickle pig feet. <laughs> Cause you wanted it that bad, it yeah, was that and I didn't care. Yeah, his hands, like his hands were dirty, and his nails were dirty. But I'm we didn't mind him serving us because. <laughs> You like I don't it was care. disgusting, I but we ate it. Mm -mm. Yeah, his Wait. yeah. You yeah. and Torque was eating that yeah. Torque. It was you disgusting, was but we ate it. I don't know. If she was around. She probably was in college at this time. I don't know. She probably might have left right. the house That's by then. Is, huh? Right. <laughs> it still would be nasty. It still would be. It's still nasty, uh, Monique. Oh, Lord, look at my sister. Look at what Tori talked about. Yesterday, I had a few parents' calls to make with the boys on speaker. ER, last one started well in the, oh, tears. Er, er, last. Oh, Lord. Okay. Candy, read this, because you're going to need to translate. Y'all are so hilarious. Not er, last. <laughs> So yesterday I had I had a few parent calls to make with the boys on speaker. Her last one started welling up in their eyes. The parents heard me say, is that a, a tear? Please don't let me see you cry. Tears make me mad. Oh. <laughs> so I said, tears make her mad. <laughs> She said that man kept some dirty nails. She said oh translate. Sweet Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Mr. His Renee nails said and hands know. were dirty. Yeah. So, but y'all was okay. Right, well, good. I'm glad you know, Miss Renee. Thank you. I'm not mm -hmm. the only one. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Seven so years. We, yes, yes. we got another car moment, though. What song? I forgot to put this in the trivia, y'all. But what song was Furious jamming to? Cause he like, oh wait, listen to this song. This my jam. What song was this? <laughs> I can't remember. Let's see. Anybody in the chat know? Before I start singing it and asking y'all to join in. Okay. Yes, Derry. Ooh, Just a Oh, Ooh, 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 Yes, that was it, y'all. That was a little bop. Kenny, I'm um, day. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, you want to keep going. Yeah, that's my celebration. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know all the words though. That's all I can hey, do. You need to direct your, direct your choir. Right. I need to get the choir together. You got to direct your choir. Yeah, we got more people in the <laughs> choir today. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Yeah, we got more people in the choir to be uh, you know, spreading out the um verses, spreading out the, okay. the sopranos and the altos and them good tenors. Okay, just <laughs> said, think about it. Fairground food 
with all those nasty hands is the best food and it is it is Bare food is the best food, but their hands be so dirty. Oh man, because I sure could go for uh, they hands be dirty too, and that's in 2023. Where they, they wash them, you know. What's up? They need a boo. The they got they, they got sinks and stuff, they just don't use it. Oh, look, yeah, they got it on um, actual group too. <laughs> or they just be so busy, you know. Stair steps. Not by the five stair steps. Wow. I did not know that was their name. Me but that was the cut. Okay, and here we go, y'all. This is the seven years Me later too. moment. We at the uh the backyard boogie. Look at this. Like, what is this garage with the plywood sitting up here like that? Like, y'all. <laughs> Come on, what in the Charles <laughs> innovation is going on right here? Okay. And, and it's pink. Charles. And it's pink. And it's pink. Right. It looked like it. Mm -mm. But this dope boy's welcome home party. And um, we see like the people is getting it in. They having a good time. They got mama and uh Ricky on the grill. Ricky got a baby. And look how she's looking at him. But that's still her fave, mm -hmm. and really, he got messing old up baby. He's yeah. much as old boy. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. And who was that friend. actress? Who is she? I don't know. When I was little, I used to think this was Taj from SWV, y'all. <laughs> <Just, laughs> I used to think, this yeah, was Taj. she is giving Taj, yes. Huh. She is giving Taj. Yes. But I swear I used to think that that was her. But she is so pretty. She was like a one right. of the she's girls not. Yeah. I used yeah. to think like, oh my god. She's not, she's but she does me. give Taj though. Mm-hmm. Right. I'm surprised she even threw him a party too, Mo. Well, you know she's gonna do that. Yeah, you're right. She right. I forgot she don't like him. So yeah, why would but I guess because her son is coming home from jail and for some that people enjoy doing that when people come home from prison or jail or whatever, like throw a party. Right. Not my family. And if y'all want to do that, that's fine. But. Right. You ain't getting no celebration. I'm sorry. You mm -hmm. coming home from prison, Damon, you need to go and, uh, and get the GED or something. Ain't nobody celebrating. <laughs> ain't nobody celebrating you getting released. Right. What's up, Tori? I mean, yeah, we glad you out, okay. maybe, if you ain't a real, like, minister society like Doughboy actually yeah. was, but uh, you should have been going in the first place. Yeah, we not doing that. Right, Derry. What's up, Tori? Yeah. Yeah, um, Nita, that is the lady from Class Act. That's Class Act. Class Act. Yeah, that's her. Yeah, she's cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so okay. uh yeah, Ricky. I can imagine she does because she has a, a, a beautiful face. Go ahead, Candy. Tell Go ahead, Candy. Talk about how you feel about the backyard boogie. I'm not a fan of the backyard boogie. I'm not not for this reason, you know. Right. Not for this reason. We could celebrate Ricky graduating from college from high school and maybe going to college on a scholarship or whatnot, but not let me tell y'all something. I had a crush on Ice Cube so bad <laughs> that when my son's father would get his hair cut, mm -hmm. I would like, you going to get cubed up? And because his barber would cube him up, like not this cube, but the, the other cube. With the listen, Ice Cube got a tape line like no other back in the day. And I used to, and, but I had a lot of people start saying they was going to get cubed up because Ice Cube had that that tape line. Listen, honey, ooh. yeah. He was my one of my moves for the longest. Yeah. Yes, Ice Cube was my boo for the longest. Yeah, but um, they were not like I think they were when it was time for them to eat. The guys were all in the line, not letting the kids eat or other women eat. And Trey had to be the one to facilitate. No, let the women eat first. The right, like they had no, no uh, right. common sense when it comes to you know. Y'all going to eat. Niggas, calm down. You're going to eat. You got it. Right. They had no courtesy. But I'm not sure what's going on in this picture right there. Courtesy. Right, right, right. Now, what's uh, going on in this picture right here? 
mama or Miss Baker is telling Trey, like, yeah, I, I need you to try to talk some sense into your friend. And she said Doughboy's real name. And that's my next question, y'all. What was Doughboy's real name? Because she told Trey, go over there and talk some, some sense into him. So some of that that you got can rub off on him. Because I guess she because she, she treat Trey like better than she treat Doughboy. And I guess it's because right. she respect the way that his mm -hmm. father is around and just like bringing him up. Like Trey got a job. He said, look, I walk, I work at the Fox Hill Mall, which is like at the time, this was like one of the most popping his malls. He worked at the Fox Hill and, and uh, it was crazy when Doughboy was mm -hmm. like, man, it looked like you selling rocks. He was like, man, I ain't doing that shit, man. <laughs> these people are crazy now they look like you're selling rocks because you got on the little Monique say, uh, Pillsbury <laughs> okay but I like Trey's shirt that shirt was dope <laughs> huh yeah I like it yeah yes yes Kendall this is it what you call crazy. natural beauty mm-hmm Right, you don't this is come natural on, candy. Beauty. You can say that again. Yes, this is natural beauty. Hey, I just realized that lady back there pregnant with her legs wide open. Look at her. All right. <laughs> I was looking at the caption and then I looked at because it was like I don't even do caption be wrong sometimes because what it was saying just wasn't making no sense. Because right in this scene, okay, we get Trey entering the backyard. He stopped by, talked to Miss Baker for a minute, and then he's talk. He stops and talk by, uh, talk to Ricky, and Ricky mm -hmm. like, you know who here? He see his girlfriend or crush, Brandy, over here with all the ladies, and all the ladies just peeping Trey out like, um, who is that? He fine. Right. That's what. Um, mm -hmm. what was this? What was I want to call her? Brandy, Shanice. But Shanice. Shanice. Or I know that's Ricky baby it's mama's it's name, but what was the uh, what was okay, okay, okay. Name? I don't know what Brenda. I don't know what Brenda Brenda name is. Let I me mean, Brenda. Right, we, no. we can go call her Brenda. I right, remember. Brenda Light. Cause he but why me alone look like, like it's winter time? She got on Neil cowboy boots. Like she, Lord, Candy, let's look. And she got on um, pants. She looked hot. She do. Huh? I said, let's look at these outfits for a minute because you brought up a good point. Girl, you ain't dressed right for the occasion. Yeah. What? You yeah, everybody is out boots. here looking in their yoga outfits, which, yeah. Maybe she's a, a pulled up woman. Maybe she's a pulled up person. And uh, you know how they dress different. You know, she just pulled up and she don't have to... <gasps> You know, she got a little bit more cash flow than everybody else got. Maybe that's maybe that's what it that's is. That's what I don't, it was, I don't know. right? I because don't her know. mama was <laughs> that way. Like, uh, uh, don't be looking at them little nappy head boys. And Momo raised a good question because we did have a question in here about a female rapper, and I'm looking for it. I might just have to type it in real quick. Mm -hmm. Okay, no, I know where it's So, at. Boys in the Hood was nominated for two Oscars. The best director was John Singleton, was the first black man, a person to be nominated in that category, and the best screenplay. Wow. I hate that we be the first. You know, right. Why the are first. we still the Why first? Why we gotta be the yeah. first? And it lost the Silence of the Lambs. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Of all things. Okay, uh, why is this one still up here? My bad, y'all. I was trying to put the next question. Up. Trey, there with the girl. She said Trey shirt looked like a Gordon Gartrell. Oh, who said that? <laughs> but um, Moochie and um, somebody else that said that. Moochie and somebody else. Uh, Trey shirt looked like a Gordon Gartrell. Oh yeah. my God, y'all. That's my profile lying. name. That's my profile name in stars. Garden Gotrail and my Who husband was like, Who the, he was like, Who the F is Gordon Gordon Gotrail? And I was like, What? Mm -hmm. I had forgot I put that in there. And I was like, Oh, that's the uh th the shirt Theo wore on be on the comedy oh, show. He was like, But yes. why 
And that's my never mind. I say, yeah, don't ask me why I put that as my my profile name, Gordon Gartrell. I don't know. <laughs> Man. Cause that was because he couldn't give the authentic one. He had to let Denise make him one. A it's handmade little my version. Socks. <laughs> That shirt look like a Gordon Gartrell. He said it's stuffed into my socks. I said, damn, that is a fool. Oh my God. Uh, oh Lordy. Yes, y'all getting the answer to these. Yeah, that was mm -hmm. yo yo. And I don't know why she's not in the um clip right here, but y'all know she was in the building. So yeah. after the cookout, y'all, this is what I'm saying. This was scary to me. Trey just trying to get a plate home to his daddy. And he had to stop and get a little baby. I was about to say a little crack baby out the street. So, yeah, I got it out of my system. He had to stop and help her. And here he go in his own neighborhood. Yes, Mr. Willie Jones. is. I got to have this gun to walk Smokey down the street. Because look at what's happening. Like, dang, this was just like, <laughs> this was just like, I can't even walk from one house to the next. You are bananas. <laughs> Oh gosh, you are bananas! So <laughs> yeah, that red car. Yeah, I can see how that would scare you. Yeah, yeah. Like, like I said, I didn't like alleys. I still don't like alleys, but yeah, mm -mm. yeah. So and then a whole home. gun pointed out the thing out the window. Uh uh. Right, mm -hmm. like why y'all had to do all that? Like why y'all got to press anybody in the hood? Like regular right. citizens do live in the hood. Like you see, he don't he doesn't appear to be no game banker. So he is why not are threat to you. Him? Right. He's like an insurance insurance salesman. What with a plate, his lunch in his hand. Like he doesn't even look like a threat to you. Why right. do you have a shotgun pointed at this man? Mm-mm. And I was telling Candy about the actor um that's actually the gunman in this in this movie he y'all know that this man really went to prison in real life because he was just so into this role that he had to go and really join a blood gang in real life and end up going to prison end up unaliving himself and yes just just like you need a therapy after this role apparently because talk you, about taking did, it too far you did you went too far with the comedy right damn that's crazy. That's scary. That is like, okay, maybe you didn't need to be in the acting if you was going to be so like obsessed. <laughs> so we got a good little family moment here. Miss Kira say, well, that's dumb. <laughs> well, that's dumb, right? Like you were supposed to really be working well, out that's here. Dumb. <laughs> Art imitating life. Facts, Torian. I can hear her saying that too. I mm -hmm. could too. I can hear her saying that too. That's dumb. <laughs> mm -mm. Oh. Yes, Tori. Can you imagine living like that? Like, oh my God. Mm -mm. Yeah, that yeah. was a good, that was I a can't. better picture. I love the country. <laughs> yeah, I like the cows being my neighbors. Thank you. That's it. Right. Oh. <laughs> no, I feel you on that. Cause uh I was I had to take my son to the barbershop earlier and I was just telling him like, oh yeah, I wanted to go on my birthday to um the comedy show with Mike Epps and the 85 South and all that. It was in LA on my birthday. And I was like, but I didn't want to go to LA. Like nobody feel like having to watch no damn watch homie Quan videos to figure out the politics and if we if this is a gas station that can be stopped at at certain times of night, like I just ain't got it to do. I like uh, I I, I don't even like that I had to have that experience growing up. I'm so glad that my kids don't, cause that's just too much. Right, okay, right, right, right. Food. Yeah, that's why I didn't want my son to ride the bus, cause I knew what I did on the bus, and I'm like, it's a different day and time. My son cannot be doing this what I did on the school bus. No. Right. <laughs> Man, on everything. Looking I'm like, like my kids crystal. are not riding the bus. My kids are not riding the bus. Because I For fought real. on the bus on the regular. My kids are not going to do that, you know. No. What's <laughs> no. up, Stephen Harris in the <laughs> building? So, Candy, what did you think That's about Steven? this moment when Trey get up here and have this father-to-father 
with his father and his daddy want to know like like he always would bring up the sex talk with Trey. Like we seen them when they was on the lake or wherever they was going fishing. He was like, so what do you know about it? He was like, I, I stick my thing in the girl and nine months later, a baby come out. And so right now he telling them like, man, you going to be right. like this when you were grandpa running after my kids and da da da. And Furious is like Paul's buddy, because what did you even talking about? No grandpa. I'm not trying to do that right now i'm not ready to be no grandfather so tell me something right, like right. are you even sexually active here trey and of course trey went on to give the soldier boy story of a lifetime and uh i want to get candy's thoughts on it so for me i've never seen a two guys, well, a son and a father talk about sex or even have that sex talk. I can't remember if I even ever seen it on TV. So in my mind, Trey was speaking from a female's point of view, like he was talking to his sister, his cousin or somebody, because it was like, yeah, grandma went to church and I walked in the house and he picked me up. He took me up the stairs, girl. And child, I rolled him from here to kingdom come. But grandma had walked in the house and grandma ran up the stairs with a blade. And I and he <laughs> jumped out the window. That's what he said coming from a female because it was too many details. That's how we talk to each other. I have never heard a dude talk to their father, yet alone another man, in detail like that. He knew he was lying. He knew. Daddy knew he you was just said too huh? much. No one would be like, I ain't. Yeah, that was too much. That was too much. Look at grandma sniffing wow. it out. <laughs> Ooh, all right. Oh my God. Grandma said something don't smell right. Mm -mm. She maybe she smelled his cologne. Cause I know or she ain't smell no, you know, no Badussie. bottoms up. Like she smelled that Badussie. Oh, I didn't want to say that. Oh, I said bottoms. <laughs> no, Kim, don't say that. Don't say that. Because I don't want to think it's, it's, it flowing downstairs like that. It must be. Right. It's traveling. Mm -mm. They both was probably in there musty, to be honest. Mm -mm. They both was probably in there musty. Bruh. <laughs> Miss Kira is so annoyed with us. She said, "Ill." Miss Kira tired of us, girl. Miss Kira, <laughs> yeah, just up in there lying. Just Miss Kira gonna put us on timeout like she do. She like, uh, uh. You need if to you go ain't on smell it in a while. You know, oh, that shade, that shade. Okay, cause the grandma ain't really getting it that in shade. like that. So you no saying more. grandma ain't have her back blowed out? You don't know now. Them, them church ladies be doing it now. Right, because you see Lucille. <laughs> you see Miss Lucille Flannery. It ain't stopping her now. Okay. <laughs> right. right. Ken, uh, Kendall, yes, the way he told his story was the female version. That was the female version. That was the female version. That was not from father to son at all. Like, uh, what? <laughs> Not. Then he get over here with Brandy, yeah, his actual decent. girlfriend. Oh, yeah, we got to we gotta get our trivia question answered, though. <laughs> we got to get the trivia. Oh, yeah. So, what day of the week did Trey lie to his father about getting some kill chick? What day of the week was this, y'all? Because, you know, Trey really went into his narration voice. Like, he about to do a good audio book to tell this good lie. Kendall got it. He lied on the Lord's Day of all of them. Yes. Yeah. Yes, Miss Kendall. And uh, Tori, she said, wait, Lucille, about my age. Shit. Hey, I mean, you know. It, well, we didn't know that Miss, Lucille. Miss uh, Lucille was getting finger popped in the car. 
Right. That's why I said, oh, I didn't know that. But Lizzo, um, Lizzo, it was getting finger popped in the car. Mm-mm. I didn't know that that was something that you do, like, <sighs> as a very mature woman, like, not in the car. She said, I ain't going to let you have none. Hi, EJ. Leave. What's up, EJ? Listen, oh, like I told him the other week, that car action be hidden. Look, she said, Yes, us do. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh. Look, EJ knew it. It was a sun. car action be hidden. Right. Now we got Trey over here going back and forth and forth and back with Brandy trying to get the skins. Like, why was that something to say? Oh my God. You going to let me get the skins or what? And he was just out there being so toxic. Like, she was like, so you want me to marry you, but you not, or I don't know. She said, who even said that I was going to marry you? He was like, I ain't ready mm -hmm. for all that. And then he tried to get all on her, doing the little puppy eyes. I'm mm -hmm. like, man, Cuba good. And if you don't get on little toxic. Yeah, little he was too aggressive. Like, he just was. Yeah, I mean, honestly, you want to have a conversation, but you got to be so aggressive, sir. So assertive, like no, that no. Right, no. he was so crass. Yes. Yeah, he was very crass. He had no couth about it. And, and the way he said it was like, like they say, what they say, um, doctor, doctor, feel good, gonna do the Lucille, hit it and quit it. Oh, what did they say? Right. He gonna one timer and leave and go. One and done, or something like that. One and done. Right. Yeah. Okay, so y'all, yeah, this time in the uh movie, what song was playing? It was a Tony Tony classic. I'm gonna go ahead and get the instrumentals ready for y'all. It's just me and you. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Hey. Don't worry about Keisha. Don't worry about. You don't need nobody. Don't worry about nothing, baby. Yes, Candy. I like how you kept going Just with the. Me yes. And you. Yes, me <laughs> and you. You know, because we like to have the, the little main course, Just and then we like to have the background you. vocals so, too. And we like to have some audience okay. members uh, join in. <laughs> <laughs> yes, y'all. Girl, that was, Look, that was epic. That was epic. That was epic. When you did that, that was week. <laughs> Woo! Oh, Not the Whitney. That was epic. <laughs> Not the Whitney Woo. <laughs> we used to Listen. say. You was acting like Whitney in um. Yeah. <laughs> and we had Doughboy and his little crazy crew over here just acting the fool. Like, why does Boy had to have a pacif uh, pacifier? Why? And y'all, people really was walking around with little pacifiers. I don't know if it was after the movie or if that was like a thing at the time. Yeah. It was a thing at the time, huh? Mm hmm. What was his name? Dookie or something like that? Dookie, of all things. Why? Dookie. Yeah. You, did you read her, um, Old Boy's uh, shirt? What it says? We won't easy. <laughs> we won't easy. We won't easy. We won't easy. Right. <laughs> we won't easy. Mm. Yes, Money said Grove was stunted. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. They do not. Oh, yeah. They don't handle it. They don't do it like they used to. You made a good um point too when we was talking about actors in real life. Um, I did not know this, but Candy let me know that Lil Chris was actually in a wheelchair in real life. So I don't know what happened to him, or did they ever even give a reason yeah. why he was in the wheelchair in the movie? Cause when he went to prison or jail, he wasn't uh, gun violence. 
Oh, okay. Okay. That's that's true. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. it was gun violence. Yeah. Yep, Dookie got taken out. Okay, Miss Renee. Oh, okay. We want the phone. Okay. okay, so that was that Bootsy Collins type of um they just taking that little style. Gotta have that phone. Snoop Dogg. Okay, I'm glad you transitioned to the Snoop Dogg. Oh, it was a dog part. <laughs> you had to. That was only right, right. I did. That's all the only way it could flow out. I couldn't. Um, That's the only way. I couldn't. I couldn't get the Funkadelic part back. Let's get straight to Snoop Dogg. <laughs> After that, da, 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 there you go, Gary. Right there you go, Gary. That's um, that's uh, MC Hammer. No, it's Funkadelic too, but that's MC Hammer as well. Oh, okay, I know that Hammer one for sure. What about um? Mm -hmm. Why must the cat? I know the other part too. It's very, it's slower. We'll sing it, Candy, because yeah, I, I want to. Gotta chase that cat. Is it chase it. cat? Yeah, I'm I trying to get the lyrics to that one. I don't know it. <laughs> Why I can't think of that song? I know y'all. We we'll have to have a um. Uh, we we'll have to have a music a music live one day. Yes, we're gonna have a karaoke night one <laughs> one night. We're gonna have to set that up. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, karaoke night. And y'all yeah. can't be shamed either. We're going to have a karaoke night and you cannot be shamed. Okay. You cannot. Tell them again, I Andy. can't sing. Uh, Avery used to sing. No, I, I Monique, cannot. Uh, I was listening Monique, to that um, thing back. You can. Yeah, please. Uh, the, uh, Monique can sing. Uh, Monique Nicole. Okay. Uh, yes. Yeah, <clears> everybody about else probably sing. I want to know. You know. Yeah, you and Monique, uh, Nicole. Oh, yeah. We Those, have fun. Fun. Little Moochie got the lyrics. Yeah, for but I said, don't care about not die, sounding right. I'm going to do what I got to do. What must I chase the cat? Nothing but the dog in me. That's the lead I needed. Good looking out, Moochie. Why must I feel like yeah, that? The dog in me. Bow, wow, wow. You be, yo, you be, yeah. Bow, wow, wow. You be, yo, you be, yeah, you be, yeah. How we get all on that? Crazy. ADHD. Right. Oh my God, y'all. Squirrel. Man, Tori, and I think I think I'm a little soprano. Every since, okay, so I used to, I could used to sing in my regular octave until, uh. Like until like death row would have that high pitched voice like psycho like no bitch ass nigga so when you see the D O double G sleep creep low ever since that came out I could only sing songs really like that like it's gonna automatically make me go into that voice I don't know why I don't know why happy four twenty dairy you already know girl you sound like Minnie Mouse the vibes. <laughs> Look, we stuck. We stuck on this damn picture right here. We got 30 more slides to go. We only 50%. <laughs> we only 50% through. And we've been up here for an hour and 15 minutes. Come on, we gotta stop playing. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay, y'all. We're gonna have to we, okay, gonna we gotta have stop to playing. Okay, in. okay, let's get serious. Torek said she had to turn that volume down, girl. Okay, <laughs> Trey still over here trying to get the skins. Okay, I thought this was funny when he thought he was clicking over on the phone line with his mama, mm -hmm. and it was still Brandy. Okay, yes, no, it was his mama. It was right, right. It was his it was mama. his mama on the phone. Mm hmm. Yeah, 
Because <laughs> why is his mama reaching out, y'all? Why do this mama think she about to have Trey come back and live with her? I felt some kind of way about this. Like, you going to wait all this time, ma'am, to summon this boy from the daddy house. Like, no, you just don't get to pick up and drop off when you need. Especially now that Trey is damn near grown. Like, he can literally make his own decisions. I don't think that, you know, Candy, how would you feeling? How would you feeling? Um, I understand she did say she was going to come back and get him, but we didn't know it was going to be seven plus years that she had to finish her degree and move to another neighborhood and buy a house. But I mean, I wouldn't even have, I personally would not have said anything. I, I, like I said the other week, my son's still there. So, I mean, by choice, that's, that's right. By choice. choice, You know, why would I ask him to? I mean, he comes, he stays here at least two or three times a week, you know, mm -hmm. but I don't know why she, I mean, I guess it's her son. She wanted her baby back. She, son, shit. <laughs> right. That's all she needs. But I mean, I wouldn't do that to him at that point in his life, though. I wouldn't do that. I would leave him where he is because he's grown right. now. Right. How did you feel about it? That's how I felt, too. Like, okay, I could see you wanting him back, but if you was trying to do what's best for him clearly moving him in his either junior or senior year they was taking the sat so i'm thinking that this was like you know his senior year you about to tell him he go to a popping high school he go to crenshaw high y'all you ain't got to live in la to know <laughs> that that must be a popping school okay if you didn't heard about right. Crenshaw, you know that that must be a school to be at and you telling me in my senior year that you want me to move to where? Where could the mama have been living? Like Downey or something? Like that was kind of like a not like a um a suburb of LA, but just like another city that just wasn't as active with the gang violence. So I, I'm just confusing on that one. So yeah, Reva, I wasn't feeling it. Uh, serious. What they both are fearing, though, is that Trey gonna get somebody pregnant because that's what all the conversations between them always come to. He's like, "Yeah, I keep telling them wear a rubber." I'm like, "Geez, is this all y'all gotta talk about?" But look at uh, Miss Brenda then got cleaned up. Miss Brenda then got on her Sunday's best. She smiled. This is like a whole nother lady, don't it? Okay. Yeah, she like looks white and happy. Woman. She looks so lovely and giving and caring and endearing and right. She was like the, the best mother in the world. This is a Ricky this moment. That's Ricky. why if she was going to one of Doughboy's little probation hearings, <laughs> she'd probably be in there with them damn rollers in her head, looking with oh, a red ash about to fall all over the place. Okay, but. This is Ricky's big night. He got a college recruiter coming over to talk to him. And, um, yeah, we got another trivia question for y'all. Because mama had to clear out the house, tell everybody to get out the way. Because this man about to come by here, talk about Ricky. And I don't need y'all and, and your little friends up here uh, shooting at the TV. Look at Ricky. Look, yeah. she even had to have the same color shirt on as Ricky. Like, Okay. Man. One band, one sound. <laughs> one band. And I'm like, wait a minute. Is these the colors? I think it was a USC. So she, they was probably trying to dress like the Trojans. Mm -hmm. And her lips red too. So, you know. Right. Uh, she definitely was trying to coordinate. Okay. But what was Ricky's GPA? What was his GPA? And Momo, you right. You right. Yes, please keep talking about the condoms. And pregnancy keep coming up. From a teen mom, right? That's teen true. Mm -hmm. Same, same. Teen. Yeah, keep mom. talking about it because it'd be a lot of pressure put on the girls. But I really feel like like the boys don't get to talk as much. Like even just in the world, we see that birth control is a woman's thing. Like um, reproductions rights mm -hmm. are like women's issues. Like you, men don't got nothing to do with that. They should just be like. Every man just need to be castrated until y'all can like meet a threshold of income to actually afford to have a child. Maybe not castrated, but you know what I mean? Like what's the temporary a little uh what the thing called? Vasectomy. A little reversible, little snip 
And when you meet that income threshold for a child, oh, we'll untie you. We'll untie you at the at that point. Mm-hmm. Cause no, y'all ain't about to put all the perimeters all on women. And y'all just out here uh shooting up the club. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree with that. And Ricky's GPA was a 2.3. Oh, Kendall, you was close. Kendall tried to give him a little extra because you know. But well, you're close, was... Kendall. Because Ricky is literally a dumb guy. Yeah, job. you tried to give him a little extra. He did not turn that homework in. I said, yeah. come on, Ricky. I thought you He has no care you. in the world. He's like, he's like, he's confused. He like, he's, I mean, your GPA is a 2.5 and you got to make a certain score on the SAT. So were your people not preparing you? Like not not your family, but like at school, were they preparing at you? School. Your coaches, the guidance counselors, were they not pre preparing you? No, because he was probably letting you know what you need to have. Work. If you're that good, not. right? If you that Jesus good, Christ. you would have a tutor. But he probably was so slick with it that he had. Yeah, people. you would have the right people in place. Mm mm. Ricky was literally a dumb jock. He was he he he's somebody that's gonna get played by um somebody trying to come up on a guy in the in the league. Like he would be falling mm -hmm. for it. He'd get rid of Shanice yeah. and and be then mm -hmm. had a whole nother set of little kids and and be <laughs> getting his bag snatched by a real uh okay. bag snatcher. Okay. Mm -hmm. Teachers and coaches letting them slide. That's <laughs> it, Miss Kira, because he was doing. They let them the slide, but mm -hmm. they weren't looking. Yeah, they weren't looking beyond high school for him. I guess hell, because they had they had to slide slide him slide him on through. Right. So they were not looking for him to go beyond high school. They didn't care. Right. Yeah. This was a, this was before the. I think was this in the they No Child Left nice Behind era. era. Cause they was moving him right along. Ricky about needed an IEP to be honest. Y'all, <laughs> Ricky needed an IEP, an <laughs> individual education plan. Oh, okay, some people might think you in a slow class, but all it means is that you 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 need some special attention. Okay, you're not comprehending. I guess it was difficult for him to concentrate. At all. <laughs> right. Well, house P and the baby. Yeah. Kendall, yes, in-house poo nanny, in-house coochie, and a baby. But the, Hi, well, the baby, oh, pretty the baby is over. Well, he's not a baby baby. Well, he's not even a year old, but so he's been having in-house coochie for at least a year. So you know, Why he can't concentrate. That's what and I'm she probably I'm nagging. Long. She probably nagging and carrying on. She oh, probably yeah. aggravating. You know Cause they, yeah, they was getting into it at the cookout. She's probably stressing them out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I'm and I'll talk about that later. Yeah. Right. Cause she is the reason. But well, we ain't gonna talk about that. We'll get her, we'll get on her later. So here they go mm -hmm. trying to take their little so no child ever had was in Bush Jr. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Torian. I knew it. They always try to have Suburbia Jones. Don't start that. Don't start. What he said. Suburbia, don't start. Oh Lord. Women are the gatekeepers of <laughs> procreation. If we is, we lock I'll be locking it the hell down because Miss Kira said some some people might not ever get untied if they had to wait to make it make the threshold. Okay. Like, don't be just Dripping all over the place, people, fellers. It's our I body. Say, it's equal responsibility it's our type of thing. We got to take care of these kids. It's an equal responsibility. Okay, so look, y'all. Look, Ricky can't even focus. Ricky don't know what's. Ricky might not even be able to read right here. This is when you see. Uh, when you know these. People notice the signs of illiteracy. Ricky looking around, right, Kendall? <laughs> he looking around, daydreaming. Boy, if you don't look at them damn words and start at least doing an ABC abacadabra all the way down, something like you don't even you ain't even putting no yeah. crease in the pages. That ABC. You better, yeah. <laughs> 
he, he over is, here looking at Trey like, he got too much on his mind. He got too much on his mind. That's the ADHD was, kicking in. That's what it he is, was not, right? Not medicated. He was. He was not medicated. He was undiagnosed. He walking around here undiagnosed. <laughs> oh, oh he Moni said there no pictures. He ain't paying attention. <laughs> Look, he not. Look, it's up to the female, Torek said. Right, so since it's up to us, I mean, I'm just saying, y'all, we need to just vote something, or it, it should have been voted that, yeah, if it's up to us, man, we need to get these dudes on, these jiggers on birth control, too. They need to get on something. Mm -hmm. They need an IUD, whatever. But then I think, I think, um, yeah, they do. Now they definitely need one because I went almost 16, 16 years. <laughs> like experience that. But um, um they do. but I think but I do think if um if they were to put something in place where like the men could not, you know, have any semen leave their body, um I think the STD rate would be very, very high because they would probably would be hitting everything. Oh, yeah. You know, that's true, Penny. Because that's I what think Trey was that, worried about. I think that. Yeah, makes I think sense, that would cause that problem. Was um, that. They was talking about it at Doughboy's uh who? little welcome home party and with when Trey yeah. had to talk to his dad like yeah. it's more than just having a baby like you could catch something to make your little Peter Weeder fall all the way off so is yeah you're right like yeah. it would be the STD rate would be off the chain because in the relationship like sometimes a guy won't even yeah, go I think to it no doctor yeah like they ain't going to get no annual mm -hmm. exam if your girl ain't got nothing, you thinking you ain't got nothing. But the difference is you got your girl and you got exactly. Brandon and you got uh three or four down the uh, you know what I'm saying? Tom. Right. <laughs> right. He got Brenda and he got Tom. Right. Uh-uh. But we're not gonna go there. This is not this type of show. Right. This ain't the next thing, Claudia. Girl, we Right, you already know. We about to go down the We're wrong road. Down another show. Wrong road. Okay, so now wrong road. Wrong after they take road. their SATs, they go over to Mister Furious's uh building, his place of employment. Okay, so I was like, okay, Mister Furious was a business owner. He was a business owner. What was his job, Candy? I, was he like a real estate man? He was a realtor. I I don't know. I have not, no idea what he did. Kendall, what know. was Mr. Furious doing for employees? But I want to know why Ricky always drinking milk, though. He thinks that might be a happy milk like, uh, at the car. Like, I think he might think that. Cause remember, they used to advertise milk as being like, milk does a body good. He probably really believed that. Because I know his stomach got to be messed up drinking all that milk. And it's hot outside. Okay, that ain't right. Oh, he was a travel agent, not a travel. Yeah. This man a travel agent. Like Momo, you being funny because <laughs> it do look like a travel agent that they in. Sounds, it look like oh. that. Monique, are you for real? That's why I said is she for real because it looks like playing? they low key in a travel agency. Look at all these little brochures <laughs> right here. Right. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. See, Miss Renee, that's what I'm talking about. Ricky needed an IEP because he could probably read but couldn't comprehend what he was reading. He needs somebody to be there with him to uh, help him at least, like, break down them questions. But his mama just thought, oh, Ricky, that's my good boy. You know, he can't nothing be wrong with Ricky. He don't need mm -hmm. no help. Dog boy the one need all the help. Okay, Mo just said she's throwing out the guesses. Thank you. Thank you, Mo, because I really feel like it was travel agent, <laughs> realtor, something, or an urban planner. Yeah, he was something, Kendall. Because mm -hmm. he went over there and had that talk with the people in the community. And, uh, yeah. yeah, it was one yeah. of the message and moments. He knew about the, um, yeah, and about the um, uh, gentrification. 
Yes. Yep. So yeah. Yeah. He was on that. So damn, they need to water yeah. their grass. Like, what happened? Oh my God, y'all! Another terrifying <laughs> moment. See, we've been doing good. Now we get to scary time again, because in this scene. <laughs> Now we get to being scared again. In this scene, y'all, where did they go to when they ran into this rival gang? Where did the boys run into the rival gang at? Where they at, y'all? Where they at? Where they at? Where they at? Where they at? <laughs> See? Look at you. <laughs> Ooh, man, be ready. He passed the SAT. <sighs> I know, Moochie. That was that's what was so crazy about it is because he mm -hmm. was struggling and he barely it appeared that he was struggling. Maybe he was looking around because he already knew the answer. Maybe, but it did okay. appear like he was having a hard time. But when you found out that he passed, it was like he would have. They would have let the boy pass. Mm -hmm. like, Tori mm -hmm. said they was at the drive-in movies. They wasn't at the drive-in, but it was another similar place. Okay, because the driving yeah, is yeah, you in the wrong movie. movie. Right. We think about poetic <laughs> justice, huh? Because man, I was poetic scared when justice. I watched poetic. Yeah, I think yeah, we, that was another scary movie, too. <laughs> right. Kendall, I'm with you. I feel like it's just somewhere on Crenshaw. Crenshaw on a Sunday afternoon, <clears throat> Sunday evening. They going out with their cars and stuff. And basically, Ice Cube and them uh side of thing, they were crips from Nipsey Hussle's neighborhood. They would have been from uh 60s, basically. I don't know where the bloods would have been from, but if there was some bloods in LA, it just it just ain't no telling. Because you know it's broken down from LA to Compton to Watts, like different blood gangs. It's okay. really like fascinating in a way. I don't like to romanticize it, but it is something that like I feel like I got a master's degree in. So you know, feel free to yeah. ask me any questions. Um, <laughs> well, I, I be watching the documentaries and I like to yeah. see the people dance, so sometimes yeah, I catch myself, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. I catch myself, <laughs> facts, candy. I do, and I be doing it around the house, and my husband, like, What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I'm like, Somebody, oh, there you go. I'm like, Hey, right, you having your moment, <laughs> man, for real. I do, I be having my moment sometimes. I be in the kitchen, I get hey. going. And I need to bounce and he was like, oh, God. Mm -hmm. I do. <laughs> you can't tell me I don't know how to do it. Right. Uh-uh. Like, uh, I swear, I think I'll be mess I'll be effing it up sometime. And it just be like, okay, <laughs> if I had a mirror, I would sit down. I would sit on down. But I'll be feeling like I'm doing the thing. Okay. But looking down, it look good. It look good. Okay, the footwork is footworking. It look looking good. So y'all, this was the actor that I was talking like, about that um charged. ended up being like uh uh getting too deep into the role. Yeah, this is the guy right here. So I was like, dang. Um, we can't mm. do nothing. The girl was like, we can't never go nowhere without y'all messing it up. And that was true. Like, that's just how it always felt like. It's only going to uh -huh. be cool for so many hours yeah. before Jiggas get to knocking and bucking. Like, dang, come on, y'all. Can we just have one night? And yeah. Doughboy Boy called her out her name. It's like, okay, you can talk to Brenda with all that, but yeah. how you going to talk to another somebody else's girl calling them out their name? Like, Dope Boy was just so disrespectful, especially when it came to women. Exactly. I just, man, tell me how you was feeling in this in this scene, Candy. I was like, what I, I like what she said, but it was like, girl, shut up. Like, be quiet. But then, Dope Boy, you got to be talking out the side of your neck, being disrespectful. I didn't like that because you make stuff pop necessarily. Like, I didn't like that. Mm hmm. Mm -mm. Right. I don't so, like um I don't like crowds. Me right. neither, Candy. I cannot. Mm -mm. I cannot. Right. He's he he showed did. Mm -mm. Or did he mo? Mm -mm. He called his mama a bee. I wouldn't be surprised. 
and he probably wouldn't he be probably saying did. it on the low. He probably would be <laughs> saying it like he would be referring to her. He like, man, yeah, my bitch ass mama. Like he just let it slide out like it ain't nothing. <laughs> she just called the police on me. The way she treated him, I'm sure he is okay. So then after they have this little tough moment, this close encounter, Trey go over there. Is this when he was swinging in the air? <laughs> no, this ain't that yeah. time. Yeah, it, it was, huh? <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, it is. Now, see, phone. after they left there, him and um Ricky were in the... Yeah, they were in the little doom buggy and they got stopped by the police. They got jacked up, you know, snatched up on and stuff like that. And it was still that man. Yeah. Still that old mean uh he came to uh yeah, it was that man. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. That is crazy. Oh yeah, here go another good question that we have for y'all. And they Before end up I... and they end up doing the Uchi Coochie. La 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 Uchi Coochie. <laughs> Who used to sing that song, y'all? Because I do not know why I just had to bring that out the woodwork. Me. So how many times have Lauren Fishburne... No, that was before. He didn't... Go ahead, Candy. Mm -mm, no, I was responding to Kendall's um, message. This uh, text. Oh. I mean, chat. Oh, MC Brains. Look, Moochie know all MC the Brains artists. Same Get it, Moochie. Right. Thank you, Moochie. Yeah, that's that's when uh, Trey was shadow boxing. I thought, the, I thought he was shadow. <laughs> okay, well, maybe so then. I thought he did that when he uh, got stopped by the police. Oh, when he changed the buddy clothes. Okay, right, because I swear I'm getting them two moments mixed up, too. I'm getting them two moments mixed up too. Okay, so y'all saying how many times have Larry and Angela Bassett worked together? Kendall said twice. Y'all thinking about this and what's love got to do with it, huh? But Momo said three. Um, Torian said before they were Ike and Tina. So they was also in Aquila and the B together. That was the third one that we could find. We couldn't find um, mm -hmm. anything else, but it seemed like they've been in more than just three movies together, huh? Yeah. But, well, since Torian said, can you name all three? I guess it's just those three. But I think they did a play or something together, too. Mm-hmm. Torian, yeah, do you name, you know the name of the play that they were in together? Because we couldn't find that. And then in this scene, they basically just, what, just fighting over Trey's future, basically. Mm -hmm. In this little restaurant yeah. that it looks like. You can like see why they're together. Show. Right. Yeah, you can see why they're together because they have, they talk to each other the same way they, you know, talk above, you know, they just talk at a certain level of intelligence, you know. Right, right. They just co-parent well, I think. I really, I really appreciate them co-parenting so well because. Some people don't see co-parenting on, on television like this. And I, I appreciate right. it. You know. Maybe Jeezy yeah, and Jenny May can take a book a uh, page out of their book. Oh my God. Right. Cause Jeezy, you know good and well, neither one of y'all about want that baby no full time. Jeezy ain't trying to get no full time child support payment. Okay. Right, yeah, he changed his mind real quick. Let me at least get 50 50. Come on, yeah, try it. There's no even no argument about that. We know them ninjas don't be one of them kids, <laughs> do not right. I, I, when Jeezy came with the I want full custody, I'm like, man, is this just in the playbook to be like throwing that Uno mm -hmm. card out? Like, I'm gonna just say, I'm gonna get custody, shoot. Yeah, just like, to piss okay. the woman off, just so she can give in. That's all. Right. Yeah, that's a tactic, man. That's crazy. Nope. You got not me. To navigate. What time you coming to pick them up? 
Right. Okay. <laughs> I'll bring them over there. Like, okay. When you gonna be ready? Do you got a bed set up? Because you can have <laughs> this one. Okay. Not that I wouldn't want to be bothered with the kid, but shoot, moms need a break too. Okay. Listen. That'd be ripping and running. Don't threaten me with a good time. Running. Right. <laughs> like, man, don't threaten me with a good time. Look at all these fools on, on Miss Baker's porch. Like, I know that his mama just, I would hate to be that house where this were everybody at. This the spot. Right. This the spot. Look at little Chris out of his wheelchair. He said, I gotta, he said, I'm gonna sit on the on the on the stoop too. Shoot. Oh, man. And you know, none of them fools helped him either. Like his arms probably hella strong. His he got the upper body strength of listen. Kong. Okay. He can go down, he go out, go down them steps like it ain't nothing. Mm -mm. Right. Because I think it. he, he was it. moving about the way when they was like about to go at dawn. Uh -huh. Right. <laughs> When I was about to go ride on them fools. Uh, what movie they came off of? What movie was that in? I don't know. I've been hearing Gabor crazy, but say it. <laughs> and that dawn we ride. <laughs> oh, Lord. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, they out here just shooting the ish. And here we go. Miss Ma'am got an errand for little Ricky to run. Okay. So I want to ask a question here. What did Shanice send Ricky to the store for? Oh, uh-uh. Uh-uh. <sighs> oh, well, somebody said something. Oh, my God. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about I'm it. Just, just yeah, you know what? <laughs> Don't to this thing, Claudia. Mm-mm. <laughs> This lady mm -hmm. is crazy, Candy. Mm -mm -mm. This is hilarious, y'all. Get it, Kendall. <laughs> Kendall be on it. Kendall don't play. So about remember, this Shanice is the reason Ricky left the house. And he's like, you couldn't have been sending him to go get no formula. And even that, I would have been mad because Heffa, you could have breastfeed, could have been breastfeeding and avoided this whole thing. Probably. You but know, you know you what? Could. I I don't I didn't know until today that it was cornmeal. I thought it was milk or formula or something back in the day. I, I really did. I didn't think had I not had I not watched this movie today, and somebody has said I got a thousand dollars for you to tell me what Ricky got. From the store, I would have said milk or baby formula. I really would have. Torik said yeah. pads. She sent him on a pad run. Torik said, <laughs> "Now that if she did, they would have been able to use them to try to patch him up till they got him to the house. Maximum absorbency, something. <laughs> they might have saved his life if he did go. Okay, overnight." <laughs> Look, mm -hmm. she was in the middle of frying fish. She should have stopped. She should have added. She should have added some flour to it. You better put some flour on that. She should have said, "I I baked the rest of it." Look, she should have put some flour, though. mix it with some flour, spread it out a little bit. Mm -mm. What she says not her fault. <laughs> she just trying oh. to make a meal for the man. Mm -hmm. So then, you know, he go, he goes to the been store. Somebody else, mama. But I can't see Miss Baker letting her cook in her house, though. All right. You would think that she would be uptight about that because for some reason it feel like she don't. I mean, I guess she do like Shanice mm -hmm. enough to let her stay there, but it seemed like it would be like them clashing just because the mom has that like dominant personality. It seems like it was just not right out. Like I couldn't imagine being like. Yeah in the position of Shanice living with Ricky mama and his mom is the way that she is. He'd be like, Ooh, uh, -uh when we gonna move? Yeah. Like Ricky, can you hurry up and get yeah. drafted? Cause, uh, I do not want to stay up here with your mom no more. Okay. This is Okay. We got another okay. trivia question here for y'all. I'm about to pop this one up. I don't know why. Look, it's so many trivia questions. I can't even find this one. Okay, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> so, 
So this is a good one, y'all. What had Ricky distracted? Look, he ain't trying to go. He laid up there comfortable. Mm -mm. Candy said, we knew it was bad because he had on that white shirt. He even tried to ask Doughboy yeah. to go for him. <laughs> we knew it was going to be ugly. Mm -hmm. Look at him. Why are you asking um, Doughboy to take you somewhere? I, I mean, to go somewhere. Why are you asking him? This is right. right. This this man got a target on what, his what, back. What was that all about? <laughs> I wouldn't be trying to go nowhere yeah. with my brother. Shouldn't nobody want to leave or go nowhere? Like, no. Mm -mm. Right. Mm -mm. Look, they know it. Tori says, yeah. scratch all off. All right. It was a scratch off. Kid don't talking about a bingo scratcher. He he had them Terry Flinnery lottery <laughs> tickets. Look, Tamika, thank you. She said she's And then he had to use the bathroom. Yeah. And then he had to use the bathroom. He was doing too much. But remember, he had to pee too. Right. Like, Ricky, boy, what are you doing? It was like he like, was waiting on it to happen. What are you doing? Like, you know, you mm -hmm. live in the hood. You need to have some urgency about where you going. Like, you know that fools can pull up on you at any point in time. Look at him. Look at the car just in the mist back there lurking. Like, Ricky, come on. Ricky mm -hmm. just was so lackadaisical about everything though about the sats about just whatever about having more kids like it just seemed like he didn't care about nothing but football he didn't even he didn't mm -hmm. even think about when the, but you um, football it like your say it's that like his in. instinct should kick in like you a football player. Like, you should be, your head should be on the swivel. Like, you should be looking for the next opponent or somebody like you. I don't know. Football didn't kick know. in for him on the, on the out there in real life. I don't know. It just didn't. I don't know. Yeah, that's true, Momo. At least uh, Doughboy would have had that blower on him if you did go to the store with him. But it's like, okay, he gonna be able to get us off of, get anybody off of us, but he also gonna be damn near the reason nine times out of ten that they own us. Cause he just, he just like a, I, I was gonna he say a troublemaker. He is the reason. <laughs> he right. He's a troublemaker out in these streets. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, poor Ricky, he didn't even know like when the recruiter was talking to him like, okay, so son, what do you want to major in? Like he didn't even, he didn't ever think about that. He was like, because there's a good chance that you might not go to the NFL. Like it's a high probability that you're going to need to rely on your degree instead. And he was just like, oh, hmm, I didn't know about that. I said, child. Mm -hmm. Poor I Ricky. Trey, he said he'll go work with Trey or work, uh, work somewhere. I'm like, mm -mm. then, then Doughboy pulls up on the scene, mm -hmm. and it's just like when they had to pick Ricky up like that. Like, I was hoping that he was gonna make it, but it wasn't looking good. It was just too, it was just, it was overkill. Mm -hmm. And then, like, what was even the yeah. reason? Just because he was double his brother, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Ricky! And see, that's why I never liked bad boys. Bad boys, bad boys. Right. I never liked Ricky Bad. I mean, Ricky Bad Boys. I never liked bad boys because I was always scared, you know, bad. that they would um come after your family. Like, I, I'm telling you, I... I I watch TV too much. I'm not for that. I, that is not the life I want to live. Okay. Not when you're in the streets like that. Now, I don't mind somebody having a little rough side to them, but no, nah, I couldn't date. I couldn't, I couldn't date a Ricky because your brother is dope boy. I can't do nothing with that. I'm sorry. I might be sitting in my damn head. might get blowed off. I'm sorry. Right. No, no. seriously, Candy. No. Nah. Because he, yeah, he's one of the prime examples of innocent bystander. Like, yeah, you want to read. I'm cracking up because Tamika over here talking about damn, 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 Ricky. Ricky, now. 
<laughs> oh my God. Ricky was mouthing <laughs> off to them. Oh, <laughs> Momo, you right. Ricky was trying to talk that talk because yeah. he knew his brother was yeah. going to back it up. He was, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he did. He was like, yeah, he did step to them yeah. a little hard. Like, bruh, know your role. If you is going to step like up. Alice. I don't like Alice to the step. Mm -mm. Don't like them. Can't do them. I ain't buying nothing out of no alley. I don't care. I don't care how good the deal is. I ain't going. Not doing it. Not, can't do it. Not going to be able to do it. Look at everybody reacting. I don't mean to laugh at them, but it's just these ones in the background. Like, you got... <laughs> You got you got uh Dookie leaning all on the car like damn he he really leaning on the car like Tamika said damn 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 not Rick not Rick Rick was supposed to get out the hood man they saying everything mm -hmm. everybody say not Rick man hell no not Rick come right. on and the other one standing up there with his hands on his hip like oh his mama about to act the fool his mama about to cut uh look at this oh my god look at the car that white yeah shirt look at his shirt that shirt is burgundy wow poor ricky oh yeah. lord mm -mm. and they put him on that particular shirt so we can see all the blood because it yeah. was a white it was white long sleeve shirt so we could see all of how he was bleeding out like there's no way he could make mm -hmm. it and then you take it in the house. I don't why why was that? Because they he know they had plastic on the sofa. Yeah. But my thing, why did they take it in the house? <laughs> <laughs> he know they had that plastic on the couch. He like that's the perfect place to go put them at. No, don't put them on the floor. Yeah, don't put them on the floor. Right. This is definitely that right. old damn part, Torian. Oh my gosh, Kendall, right. I did not like the yeah, way Brenda yeah. was blaming Doughboy for this. That was so Doughboy wouldn't nowhere right. It didn't have nothing to do with him. It literally didn't. It was like she was hitting all on him. Like, dang, like she act like he pulled the the uh trigger himself. The way that she was going in on Doughboy. Yeah. I was like, geez. And, and Doughboy is so sad because he was so conditioned to it that. He just like took it and just accepted. He didn't even try to say, "Mama, that's my Ice Cube impersonation, y'all." Mama, what? I'm, I ain't even had nothing to do with this. I ain't even had nothing to do with that, man. Mama, I'm like, no, it was you. Look, oh my God! So I told you they was gonna go and put them on that plastic, but for some reason, it looked like they didn't pull the plastic off because the plastic was just on there when the recruiter came by. Cause uh Doughboy had told Dookie to sit uh -huh. on the on the plastic and not the good part. Like, look at the poor baby. Give that baby to his uncle. <laughs> Give that baby to Doe. He crying. He don't know why he crying. Come on, Miss Renee. That's what I'm talking about. I never understood why they didn't take him to a hospital. I under I yeah. yeah I I'll understand. put you, Miss Renee, on that. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is a good one. Candy got a question in here for y'all. Question for you. How long after <laughs> Ricky died did Doughboy die? Oh man. Wait, Candy. Um, mm. I guess well, you wanna you wanna ask him that. Let Let's see what y'all y'all know it. Let's see. How long and after you know, Ricky died did Doughboy die? What was the time frame? Let's see. 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 let us see that's really yeah. how it be. Yeah. Like, okay, y'all hit us. One gang took somebody out. Now they gonna retaliate. And then somebody from the other side gonna be wiped out. Like, come it's, it's on, a revolving door. 
for real. Mm-hmm. Look, I mean, uh, Trey, Trey, what the hell was you gonna do with this? No, we know what you was gonna do because we seen what Furious did with it. Okay, I'm about to say what you gonna do with this stagecoach Robin pistol, but we know what that thing do. <laughs> Hello. What you gonna do? Yeah. Mm-mm. I was glad that he um gave it back to his daddy, but he still snuck off. Mm-hmm. Look at him. He's like, man, forget that, man. That's I could only imagine though how how Trey was feeling, but this was a pivotal moment in his it's life. Bad. He can't mess up his life and career trying to avenge somebody that is is no longer here. So I definitely felt sorry for Trey, but I was happy that he just end up getting out the car like you are not about this life sir and your daddy over here jingling them them uh tension balls like i always was so like concentrated on this like why is this man doing this this man had a fidget spinner back then that's what that was basically y'all fury is over here doing his fidget spinner (laughs) (laughs) waiting on Trey. need to find out he's Now yeah, this was always that is a fidget spinner. That's the, the new age fidget spinner. Right, that's a fidget spinner. Why, if you just hit somebody, maybe they in their <laughs> own hood, but why is they outside like this? I don't know. If I was just a hitter like that, you would think that you would just be somewhere on the low. Like y'all out eating all that some ghetto ass hamburger stand, probably that's known for activity, special strange activity. As Miss Ho Kim would say, but yeah, y'all ain't even expecting nothing. <laughs> I was glad to see Doughboy get his get back, but um, I knew it was coming for him too, and I think he did too. He knew it was coming too. Mm-hmm. This is one of them Cleo from yeah. Set It Off moments. Like, you just know it ain't no coming back from this, but you got to do what got to be done. <laughs> it ain't no coming back for it, but oh, then here goes Trey. Mm-hmm. How was you feeling? Bloody clothes. I'm glad he do. got his behind at that car. Right. Thank you, Candy. I'm glad he did too. Mm-hmm. Now, after they rolled on the uh oh, they got a the new door. door. Look at their door. It's new, right? He, but you see how it still got it's it's the 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 middle. <laughs> this look like a Charles Flinnery uh rehab because they got a new door. They got a they put the glass up there where the holes was. <laughs> No, it killed a pink, 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 pink. Look, like a pink, pink. <laughs> oh, Kendall is crazy. Mm-hmm. Pink, 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 pink. <laughs> Look, Tori Listen, said those were um, for IEP kids. Wait, what was what was really for the IEPs? Them balls. Oh, oh, balls. okay, to make them focus. The nerve focus, right. Before mm-hmm. they just start giving them Ritalin and Adderall, cause uh, look, I right. wasn't no IEP kid. I became an IEP adult, adult, and man, I said, "Doctors, yeah. you gonna have to prescribe me something because you know I have a problem." And and did. Yeah, I didn't know I had a problem. I I after I went and talked it out, I was like, "That's what was wrong with me when I was in school." Exactly. Like why my leg will be jumping or why we have my no. I'm like, damn, that shit is weird. Like yeah. why my I mean my like my, my I don't know when last time my leg jumped, but my leg will be jumping because I had to get the energy out or whatever out. Like, yeah, like yep. damn, that was my problem. Tapping my pencil, like I mean, I just did. I would get in trouble for tapping my pencil. They like you disruptive. Shit, something going on. I don't know what it is. But because yeah, I wasn't a bad kid, you know, I wasn't bad. It was just those little things that were just minor that were 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 a distraction for you know the class. But shit, I didn't know why I kept tapping my pencil or shaking my leg so much. Like my leg would shake so much, it would end up hitting the desk. Mm-hmm. I would have that leg going. Ooh wee! You mm-hmm. thought I was flicked it for real, <laughs> right? But no, that's a fact, Candy. I feel like that's why a lot of us don't be diagnosed or at least from that time 
that era because um I think that my mom did try to have me or the school try to have me tested or diagnosed, but because I wasn't a disruptive or bad behavior, they just thought like yeah. it wasn't nothing wrong with me whole time. Because yeah. I do know like, people I, that weren't disruptive, they were on it yeah. because they were disruptive. Right. But they were still labeled as bad kids though. So I didn't get right. I didn't have that. I didn't do that. So I didn't find out till mm. I was in my thirties. Thanks to my sister. Me too. Right. Me too. Yeah. That's when I finally started going to therapy. Then from that, start seeing a psychiatrist, got a little, um, you know, do the uh, test, got tested for ADHD. And they was like, ma'am, you should be taking something to mm -hmm. focus because it didn't really do it. Just, it just helps you navigate through your day a little bit better instead yeah. of trying to think of a thousand things at once. Like, <laughs> Mm -mm. Yeah. yeah, it's very common, yeah. Miss Renee. It I is. I didn't get diagnosed until 2018, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, I was taking a test, and I was like, these are the same questions. Like, why I got to keep answering them? It was like, oh, you got it bad. <laughs> it's not right. Y'all asking me the same question five times. Like, I'm answering once. I'm not doing all this. Right. Like, y'all think I'm, yeah, I was like, man, come on. What kind of test is this? Y'all think I'm stupid? <laughs> Like my I see what y'all doing. Right. What is this? Yeah. And no, ADD did not have me fighting on the bus with bracelets. No. Oh, Tori. That had nothing to do with it. <laughs> that was just people was bothering us on the bus, you know. <laughs> oh. So that made you fight on the bus with the bracelets. Uh-uh. She ain't going to forget that. <laughs> she said the secrets people keep. <laughs> okay. No, I no, that was, Look, that was bothering us. I had a Jerry curl, so they would be bothering me about a Jerry curl and you know, my gal and you know, she my cousin, they weren't having it. Right, well, it wasn't one cousin wasn't having it. The other one was like, We not I'm not fighting. <laughs> well, shit, I'm fifty. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> But your curl wasn't looking like this, cause look, his curl. What's what's really happening here? No, 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 no. My curl wasn't looking like that. He had them teeny um, white rollers in his hair, the yellow, the mm, yellow ones. Them he little, had them teeny ones. yellow rollers in his hair. No, I hate the orange ones. Yeah. <laughs> Not the orange ones, okay? <laughs> yeah, that's a decent size. That's a decent diameter. Look, he just looking so drained too. He tired of it. That's a decent diameter. You don't know. It? You don't know. What was he saying right there? You don't know. You don't go. Just another day in the know. hood. Or something like that. I can't remember what he said. Kendall, what he was saying. Because I know Kendall gonna know. That's a yeah, res resident expert on this, on this movie. <laughs> But he was just looking so just like, man, I'm ready for this mess to be over. Mm -hmm. I feel sorry for him. He just felt like he was so defeated, you know. He was. And his mom is still upset and sad because she wants to put it on him that her son has passed. And, you know, and it's like, what can I do? I got to live in this house with this lady. And my now my nephew doesn't have a father. Dang. But the girlfriend doesn't have a, you know. Like all these things are, and, and I'm the reason, the reason why. So, you know, in all my life, I've been a up. Right. So, it's Dang, hard. Yeah. yeah. He really just owned that. Oh, huh? yeah. He, he just... was saying, um, he was saying his brother wasn't on the news. That's what it was. And oh, they don't right. know, they don't show. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, what goes right? Yeah. They don't know or they don't show what goes on in the hood. Yeah. Mm hmm. Look at Torque status tonight. Girl, showing it. Cause you don't never know no movies or nothing nobody say, but you know today you better do it. Go ahead. Sister. Right. Good move. I say she don't be knowing. She don't be knowing, but she know today. I told my uh -huh. Yeah, no. The seriously, dope boy was a. That was facts. That was another message moment because 
that's so true i mean we even still be saying that in 2024 how like yep. stuff don't get the, the attention that it deserves or the same attention that um like other people might get when it comes to a crime or whatnot <laughs> playing dumb is a skill, me right please make me sick <laughs> Act smart and play dumb. That's my motto at times. That's what I'll be doing okay. at work. Act smart and play dumb. Just act like you don't know. Wait, what? Not when it comes to doing my job, but when it comes to the drama behind the scenes. Like, oh my God, y'all. Yeah. Speaking of that, I can't wait to the smoke session to tell y'all about some things. Okay, we're going to have a time over there too. So, yeah. But now that we didn't reach the end of the movie, Candy, let's go over some final thoughts. Let me know what you think overall about this movie from the time that you watched it as a youngster to now with adult eyes and just like the overall package. Um, this was a very, very uh, well written, very well directed movie. It translated well um, because things that went on then still go on now. Um, and it's even worse now, in my opinion because things are recorded on phones or ring cameras or on pole cameras and stuff like that. So, um, but in this part right here, what he said is still today, they don't know, they don't show what go on in the hood. You know, some like the, just for example, missing, you know, the young women that are missing, they don't post those, but Katie get posted, but Keisha not getting posted, you know? So, um, and then teachers thinking, Parents don't have it together, and the parents right. do have it together. It's not like that, you know. Um, that still goes on today. It should not, but it still goes on. Law enforcement still goes on today. It should not, but it does. Um, you have some people that are in the hood, don't know how to leave the hood, and you have those that grew up in the hood that can leave the hood. It just depends on the mindset and the family dynamics. You know, you have Trey's had both parents that were educated parents. They lived in the hood. They let him do the hood activities to a certain extent. However, he went on to um, college. Doughboy, you know, sadly, we don't know about his father. His mother was always talking down to him. They never, we never heard her instill anything positive into him. And she was always beating him down with words. And then she beat him down physically. So, you know, it was always, I got to get it the way I can, get it how I live, pr pretty much. You know, Ricky, he was on sports. Still to this day, it's like that a lot of times, yeah. you know. So, I don't know, it, it did translate yeah. well. The movie, the movie did translate well. Yes, I agree. Yeah. And Mo made a good point on this, too. Uh, when we was talking about, like, they don't know, they don't show. Mo said, or stuff get too much attention like crime in Chicago and people have their own perceptions about the city. Yes. Now, I grew up feeling that same way when it came to, like, if somebody found out or if it came out that I grew up in Southern California or Compton, you know, like, people would just assume that my life was boys in the hood, basically. Like, they would assume that this type of stuff that they see in the movies and on the news was everyday life like yeah it it was to a degree but at the same time like i did everyday kid stuff playing outside you know until the street light came on um trick-or-treating just you know had also a good community to grow up on but none of that ever be focused on it always be like the crime the crime the violence and it just ain't like that every day 24 hours a day so that is a good um point to make mo mm -hmm. but i'm with you candy the movie still hit into the um it's still just relevant it's just still relevant at the end of the day mm -hmm. it's still relevant it it's not as much of a horror to me as it was when i was a kid it's more yeah. really like a low-key comedy to be honest because you mm -hmm. can see so much humor just in like the way that the actors portrayed their roles and just the funny stuff that they were saying that wasn't meant to be funny but just i mean it was accurate shoot sometimes your friend mama could be going off on them and it'd be funny just because you like damn like she she's disrespecting yeah. me <laughs> 
<laughs> like this is comedy, but yeah, it's just <laughs> relatable. It's relatable and relevant. And I'm yeah. glad that we covered it for real. And I'm glad that yeah, everybody that like pulled it. up to the live joined us for our first 90s movie night. Uh, Candy, you down to do some more of these? Because this was fun, huh? Hell yeah, I am. Yes, I, I love me some ninety. I love me some hood movies, the hood classics. Um, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So, um, any recommendations y'all want us to do? Put it in the chat. Let us know. Um, and we'll see what we can do, and when we can get it done for you guys. You know, the weekend is the only yeah. time that we can get stuff done. So, you know. Right. You know, we be trying. Oh, Kendall, you yeah. always so sweet. Great live, man. Yes, great live to the so chat, cool. too. This was a family yeah, function. Thank coming through. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank y'all for coming through. I appreciate now, on our way, it. Now, I can do the yeah, song. We had, come on, let's go through. Let's do the roll call for the uh people that showed up and showed out. Now, we've been chatting a lot, so I don't know if I'm going to make it all the way to the top, but I really do feel like I remember everybody. So let's see. Shout out to DeMarcus mm -hmm. Bomb for pulling up. Nita the Diva. OT Lungs. Monique 69 Ways Johnson. Okay. Kendall. Tamika's Den. Moochie. Ty T the Money Boy. Tori and Reloaded. Torek, Sterling, and Sonia's mom. I had to say everybody' real name, okay? The whole name. <laughs> Derry B, okay. the Aries Queen, and Nola Queen. And yeah, I think that's everybody that them pulls up. Did I miss anybody? Okay. I mean, that was at least the people in the chat. Everybody else that was yeah. watching from the bushes, still shout out to you for being here. So make sure that you slide through with a like and a view, you know, from both channels, y'all. We really appreciate the love. And Candy, you got any um what we doing? What what you got going on? Um, are we going to court tomorrow? We might yes, we business to tomorrow. tomorrow. We got to go to court tomorrow. Stephen Harris, what's up? Stephen Harris been in the yeah. building too. Stephen Harris said going to court, yeah, that's yeah, his right. thing. So I'm sure he's gonna be there yeah. with us. And um, what's the other guy? Oh, Wilson guy. May in the building. Matthew. Mm -hmm. Matthew. Yeah, Matthew. Well, we, we appreciate y'all for coming through. Tomorrow we will be going to court. Not sure what episode we're going to pull out, but we'll see you out there. We'll just tap in and you all tune in. Okay. Okay. And Thank y'all for coming through. In the next one. Yes. Thank y'all for coming through.